Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, before I start this, I want to let you guys know something. Yes, there is a face cam on here. The reason why is I want to explain why my voice and, you know, my tone of this episode isn't going to be as crazy as previous episodes. It's because I got surgery done on my mouth and uh, it's swollen right here. As you can tell, it's way larger than this side. And uh, the doctor told me I can talk. I just can't yell. And I told him, I was like, please, for the love of God, you got to let me be able to make videos and talk because that's my life so yeah the doctor gave me the okay to talk but he gave me the no go to start screaming and start yelling out shit so i can't yell Midori Gorino at the top of my lungs maybe for like a week or so but i heard that you can expel kakona in different ways and we're gonna try that in this episode so let's do this shit okay so you can actually go inside of this counselor's office now and you can talk to this sexy ass red glasses wearing oh baby hold up Hold up, what are you looking at on the computer? Oh, nothing, you're just looking at the desktop? Well, I'm looking at some desktops myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna talk to her. Can I help you? Yes, you can help me. I want to report a dirty little secret, my love for you. I'm just kidding, you can report dirty secrets. You can report theft, report contraband, report some pantalones, or you can report cheating. But they're all not highlighted because you need to do certain things to be able to make these statements true. So we're gonna leave. And I'm going to report the first one, Dirty Little Secret. So let's Don't leave. Don't misbehave. Okay, so from what I understand, in order to do the Dirty Little Secret, you need to talk to what Info Chisel. Need? I need a uh, service. I need you to provide me with a dark secret. You don't have enough panty shots to afford this. Damn it. Okay, so I need a panty shot. Can I actually get a panty shot of the counselor? Hold on, let me try. Oh, shit. Plot twist. She's not wearing any panties. What the fuck? All right, then. So we gotta go for plan B. I didn't know the counselor gets freaky like that. Let's see which student we can do. Okay, hopefully Yandere Dev doesn't get mad at me for taking a picture of his waifu's panties. All right, let's send these. Excellent. Now I have a picture of my waifu's panties. I owe you a favor for this one. You betcha sweet ass you do. Now let's see what kind of dirty secret she can give us right now. I need a service and I need you to provide me with a dark secret. You're going to love this. I've got video footage of Kakona selling used panties to a boy from another school. Enjoy. All right, so I'm assuming we need to go to Infochan's room and then pick up that tape. Nope, you actually don't click on the door to get the videotape. I guess we're just assuming that, you know, the tape is real and we just have to take her word for it. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the counselor and let's see if she believes that dirty little secret that Infochan was telling us. There we go. All right, counselor, I got some news for you. Can I help you? Let's report that dirty little secret. This is... Thank you for bringing this to my attention. This kind of conduct will definitely harm the school's reputation. I'll have to have a word with her later today. Dang, she's so skilled. She talked to me without her mouth moving. We must have been talking through mind reading or some shit. All right, so she's going to talk to her later today. Let's go to class and let's just fast forward through some bullshit. Doesn't really matter what we do. Actually, Kakona's still here. What the fuck is she still doing here? You're not supposed to be expelled. Hold on, I'm going to follow her. Let's fast forward time and let's see where she goes. She's not allowed to go to the cooking club. I told the counselor about her dirty little secret. She better get her dirty little ass expelled. Hey, hey, counselor's office is this way. What the hell are you doing, Kakoni? No. Hey, counselor, you need to do your job. She's walking over to the cooking club. She shouldn't be able to do that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Stop looking at your damn Field and Cloud's desktop and get your big titty ass over in the cooking club and expel her ass. What the fuck are you doing? Place phone. Why does it say place phone? Let me place my phone. Steal phone? I steal my own phone? Okay. I placed my phone on the table and I stole my own phone back. What in the fuck? Okay, let's fast forward time. Maybe we can get Kakona expelled from there. And I have a naifu, but I won't end any laifus. Okay, let's fast forward time. Oh, there you go. The guidance counselor asks Kakona to visit her office after school ends. Your after school activities are completely unacceptable. You should not be conducting yourself in such a manner. This kind of behavior could cause a scandal. You could run the school's reputation into the ground. It, it's not what you think. I was just... Oh, there we go. So there's actually a meter to how far you can bring her reputation down, and then when it's all the way down, you can get her expelled. Okay, so let's sleep through the day, and let's do other little things so we can get Kona expelled. 
Okay, earlier I placed my phone while Kokona was at the cooking club, and I was wondering why I could steal my phone back. I think that's what the report theft thing is, so let's fast forward through school, place my phone on the desk, and then report that Kokona stole my phone. Okay, so we got Kokoni making those Octo Dogs here. We got our big ass phone right here. Holy shit, dude, that's big. Okay, and then let's get our scheming asses into the counselor's office. What and let's report a theft. Denied. No, we can't report a theft. Don't Hold on. Misbehave. Maybe we need to wait for Kokona to finish making the hot dogs. Maybe she'll accidentally steal our phone. So let's just play the waiting game. All right, she's putting the Octo dogs back in the fridge. Come on, steal my phone. Steal my phone. Steal my phone, motherfucker. All right. You know what? I'm going to steal my own phone. And I'm gonna grab a knifeu just cause I can. All right, let's talk to her one more time. What can I help you with? And you can't report a theft. Okay, maybe that's not how you do it. Will the counselor notice me wielding a knifeu? I'm holding a knifeu. I'm holding a knifeu. Are you gonna expel me? I'm holding a motherfucking knifeu. She's not gonna do anything. All right, fine. There are other ways to expel Kokona, like report contraband. I've seen how that's done, so let's Don't see if I can do it on my own. Let me see if I remember all the steps. So I'm gonna restart the day, and let's do this shit. Okay, so I just pulled up the phone again, explaining all of InfoChan's services. You can actually frame her for theft by providing two panty shots. So before I do the contraband one, let's take two pictures of panties, send it to her, and frame Kokona for theft. Alright, got a clear panty shot right here. And InfoChan likes that. I mean, what the fuck does InfoChan want with panty shots anyway? You know what? I'm not gonna judge. Let's what just go mean? to schemes. Frame Pleasure for theft. Steal Saku Basu's ring while she is eating lunch. Place stolen ring in your rival's bag. Report your rival to the guidance counselor. Okay, so we need to steal Saku Basu's ring during lunchtime. Alright, got it. So let's fast forward through the first day. Alright, now it's lunchtime. Sakubasu has to be on the roof, right? Because she's always with her sister, Inkubasu, and then Oka is, like, watching them from right here. All right, let me fast forward time, and then let me steal that motherfucking ring. Oh, they're actually right here eating bento on the bench. Where's Kudeta gonna eat? You guys ever think about that? All right, let me steal this motherfucking ring. Gotcha, bitch. And she didn't even notice? I stole her ring and she didn't even blink her eyes? What the fuck is wrong with you? I could rob you guys blind all fucking day. All right. Let me go put this in Kakoni's bag. I know her classroom is right over here. And the lonely bag on the only desk has to be Kakoni's. So let's place the ring and report this shit to the guidance counselor. Counselor, counselor, you're not gonna believe this. Kakoni is stealing shit. Is that true? I'd hate to think we have a thief here at school. Don't worry, I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fast forward to the end of the day and let's see what happens. The guidance counselor asks Kakona to visit her office at the school ends. May I take a look inside your bag? This doesn't belong to you, does it? What are you doing with someone else's property? No! I'm not the one who did this! I would never steal from anyone! That's bullshit though. But you did steal, Kokoni. Alright, so we got her to steal. We told the counselor about her dirty little secret. So let's report her for contraband. Alright, I actually saw this one in Yandere Dev's video. I thought this shit was what cool as fuck. Need? You click on drops, and then you can actually get a pack of cigarettes for one panty shot. And I believe that the cigarettes drop from one of these windows right here. Whichever side Infochan's room is on. So let me get a picture of some panties. Actually, you know what? I haven't done Midori's panties in a while. Let's get those Gorino panties, you know what I'm saying? Let me drop down. Picture. Boom. Alright, we got a picture of Midori's panties. Let's talk to Infochan. Go to drops. And let's get a pack of cigs. She should drop it on one of these windows, right? Oh, is it this window? Oh, shit. It must be the other side then. Fuck my life. Oh, it was right here. Okay, I actually want to see her drop it through the window because I think that looks cool as hell. I like the animation style. So let's restart the day and let's actually see Infochan drop the cigarettes from the window. And look at this shit, guys. If I glitch out a little bit, you can see Infochan's head with her glasses on at the top. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right, so let's click on Infochan. Drops. And fuck, I already did the pack of cigarettes, so I can't do it again. Damn it, I might have to restart the day. But that's also going to restart Kokona's uh, expelling meter. But who cares? We're just doing this just to do it. We're not trying to get her fully expelled. So let me restart the day. I want to see that animation of her dropping the cigarettes through the window. I mean, I know it's not a big deal, but it's a big deal to me, all right? All right, here we go, guys. The epic moment that I've been waiting for is click on drops. 
pack of cigarettes, and there you go. <laughs> a simple window opening and closing, and I wanted to see that so bad. You know what? No rugrats. So let's pick this up. Yeah. And I'm assuming we also put it in her bag upstairs in the classroom. Let me check. All right, Kakona's bag is here, which is weird because she hasn't even been to class yet, but whatever. Place the cigarettes. And the teacher did not see that. You saw nothing. We are going to go downstairs and we're going to report that shit to the guidance counselor. Counselor, guess what? Kakona had a pack of cigarettes in her bag. Can I help you? That's a clear violation of school rules, not to mention completely illegal. If what you're saying is true, she will face serious consequences. I'll confront her about this. Yes, serious consequences. <laughs> Alright, so let's fast forward through the day, and let's see what happens. The guidance counselor asked Hikona to visit her office after school ends. I need to take a look in your bag. Cigarettes! You have absolutely no excuse to be carrying something like this around. Huh? I don't smoke. I don't know why something like this was in my desk. Shut up, Kakona. You know you're a chain smoker. All right, let's do the next method, and let's see how else we can get Kakona expelled. Usually, though, in real life, at least in my school, you would get suspended or even expelled fully if you had cigarettes in your bag. But I guess Academy High is really lenient on things like that. You just get like a slap on the wrist, and you just get towards expulsion, but you don't fully get expelled. But anyway... Let's check what other methods we can try. Okay, so we've done dirty secret, theft, contraband. We need to do report panties, and we've already done report cheating in previous episodes. So the last one we can do is report panties. Let's Don't see how we're gonna do that. Let me open this up. What do you need? Uh, service, info, max reputation, rival reputation, dirt secret, send student home, delay police, no. Expose, frame for theft, frame for panty shots, frame for cheating. Can I frame her for panty shots? Is that the same thing as panties? It has to be, right? Because that's the only thing. All right, so I need four panty shots. Let me get four pantalones shots and let's do this. Okay, I took a picture of my waifu's panties. How the hell can Info-chan see her panties? Her long ass hair's in the way. You know what? I'm not even gonna judge. Let's send that. And now we have four full panty shots. And the reason why I'm not showing the panty shots is for some reason, whenever I show any type of panties in the videos, my videos end up getting age restricted and I don't want to deal with that. This is all for entertainment. I'm not trying to show panties or things like that, like on purpose. So that's why I don't show the panty shots in episodes. If anybody's asking why, now you know. But let's go back to Infochan schemes and frame for panty shots. You're doing business with you. Steal rival's phone in locker room at 7.30 a.m. on Thursday. Take a panty shot with your rival's phone. Place phone in cooking club before 4 p.m. on Thursday. Wait for your rival to find her phone. Report your rival to the guidance counselor. Okay, so we have to steal Kakona's phone on Thursday at 7.30 a.m. So let's make it Thursday. And then I have to fast forward time to 7.30. And then we steal her phone. One thing I want to know is why is Kakona going to the locker room at 7.30 a.m.? Is she going to take a shower? Shouldn't she be taking a shower when she's at home before she comes to school? Like, is her vag that stinky? Does it get stinky that fast that she has to take another shower before class? Because people are going to be like, oh, Kakoni, is that you again? But anyway, let's fast forward time. Let's see what she does. Oh, see, she's changing. What the hell? She is going to wash her stinky vag. Okay, let's open this. Let's That's steal huge, that big ass phone. And then now I just have to take a random panty shot. You know what? We are going to do Midori Gorino because I want to. So let's drop down and get our eagle on. Wait, I'll do it to Oka. Fuck it. We're going to do it to Oka's panties. Those demon panties. Okay, I saved the picture. So now I have to place phone in cooking club before 4 p.m. on Thursday. Okay, so I'm going to go back to class. And I'm just going to bullshit through just like I do in real life. And now we are going to head on over to the cooking club. And that's why you could place a phone. I placed my phone originally. And I was wondering why I could steal it back. Like I was like, huh? Is this a plot hole? But no. You can place Kakona's phone on the desk, and then you can tell the guidance counselor. So let's do this. Place the phone right there. Okay, I was about to tell the guidance counselor because I was so excited, but we actually have to wait for our rival to find her phone. So Kakona needs to come here. She needs to make her octo dogs, and then she needs to grab her phone. Then we can tell the guidance counselor. What? Wait. What the hell are you doing? Hey, get your phone. What? Why are you saluting sitting down? What the fuck is wrong with you? What? 
What? What you, did I do that face? What the fuck? Get your phone, Kakoni. You need to make octodogs. How is the cooking club gonna eat? You guys just gonna salute and like high five each other? Winking? Are you fucking winking? What the hell is this shit? Come on, Kakona, your phone is right there, girl. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna report you anyway. Report you for being a hoe. What can I help you ah, with? Ah, you can't report panties? Damn Don't it. Don't misbehave. All right. Okay, maybe we have to fast forward time, wait for Kakona to stop, you know, touching her mouth all the time. Let's fast forward. All right, I am fast forwarding time. These girls are saluting at each other, winking at each other, doing the did I do that face. I don't even know what the fuck. Like, why are they saluting each other? That makes no sense to me. And Kakona is not going to find her phone, I think. Uh, she is not going to find that phone. So, Houston, we may have a problem. And here is the close-up view of six dumbass girls saluting at each other, winking at each other. I don't even know what the fuck at each other. This shit is crazy. Okay, so I guess we have to wait till Friday maybe so she can get her phone. Okay, it is now Wednesday. I'm gonna place this phone right here. And hopefully it still has the panty shot on it. And I'm gonna fast forward time and wait for our MVP Kakoni to find her phone. Alright, there she is, guys. She's coming up. Hopefully this works. I am, like, clasping my hands together, praying that this works. Come on, please. Please find it. Oh! Yes! My phone. There you go. How did it get here? Okay, good. She found her phone, so that's a good sign. Now let's tell the counselor and see what happens. What can I help you with? That's a very serious accusation. I hope you're not lying to me. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding. I'll investigate the matter. May I see your phone for a moment? What is this? Would you care to explain why something like this is on your phone? What? I've never taken any pictures like that! How did this get on my phone? Alright, and that is how you frame Kakona for panty shots. I don't think I'm going to do the last one about cheating, because we already know how that goes. I've done it in previous episodes. I just wanted to get this video up so I can see more myths, comments, questions, or challenges, so I can make it in the next video when my mouth is fully healed from the surgery. Hopefully you guys could understand all the things that I was saying, and hopefully you guys also understand why I wasn't as hyper or hyped up, because I couldn't really open my mouth that wide because in the stitches, you know, they might rip out and stuff. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode anyway i do love you guys i love playing video games you know nothing's gonna stop me i know i do need to heal up but i also wanted to play this really bad so if you guys have any more comments questions challenges that you want me to try in the next video please leave them in this comment section below and i'll choose the most creative and unique ones but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude